Hello, Libra. I'm so glad you're here. This is the Prism Portal and I am Kat. Let's get started. This is your reading for the new moon in Cancer on July 17th, which is coming up pretty soon. <sighs> Libra, we've had some pretty intense readings together. I just want to thank you for being here. Um, I, I don't know why I pick up on your energy so strongly. It's honestly extremely um, surprising to me that I do. I do not have hardly any Libras in my life. Um, I of course know your, you know, your energy on paper. Um, but for some reason, every single one of my Libra videos for the past two, three weeks has been like overwhelming to a degree that um, then when I get the feedback from all of you, thank you for liking and subscribing. I so appreciate it. By doing that and leaving comments, you all are feeding this relationship and it helps me. I don't know, it's like I'm, I'm, I am tuned into you very much so. And um, when I see comments that say, you know, this resonates in a, in a, in a specific way, I just, um, wow. It's just really incredible and, and it's not a thing on me like wow I'm wonderful it's just wow us as a collective being able to tune into one another it's a real thing it's a real thing and this moon is a very psychic moon in the sign of cancer I know we associate sort of more of this psychic with uh, Pisces your other water sign or Scorpio wow. oh, I love this energy for you the Hanged Woman, this is uh, the Luminous Void deck. All decks will be listed below with links. Um, I chose this deck today to start with because it's watercolor. And this is a watery feminine moon. I mean, I may, I may look a little silly to some of you, um, but I wanted, I've had this strong need around this moon to just like want to express myself. Like, I just want to express myself and I want to express sort of the, the feeling of this season for me for this new moon on the 17th, which is, it is a feminine moon. It is a deeply feminine feeling, emotional, watery, watery, psychic moon. And I think that through art of some kind, some kind of creativity, while you're in this phase where you're you're turning inward. Sure, it's summer, there's parties, there's things to do, but you're feeling this pull inward toward yourself, toward something that maybe you've never felt before. Something that maybe you, it's like you haven't been com compelled to, to be this introspective maybe ever in your life uh, about yourself. Libra, you are such a beautiful sign. Libra is, it's so funny to me that, that I have this connection to you. I think I understand your energy and I have no Libra placements. It's just odd, so interesting. But I, I understand that energy of sort of being able to be the chameleon, of being able to kind of hang back, read the room, and then be whatever you need to be. It's a watery thing, isn't it? It feels watery to me. This moon is like, it's, it's not only asking us to tune into the more feminine things in life. And again, you know, gender non-specific here. We all have a masculine, we all have a feminine and it's all alchemy at the end of the day, zebra. Zebra. Unicorn. I mean, okay. <laughs> That's a perfect Libra card. <laughs> My little unicorns. Oh, to me, this looks like a flamboyance, which is which is so fascinating. These are like the most flamboyant animals ever, possibly ever, <laughs> certainly in this deck. <laughs> 
And you see the zebra has sort of a, a rainbow. It's his third eye. Interesting that there's a focus here because the unicorn also, what is this? This is third eye. That's what you're tasked with, Libra. This new moon. Because you're so good at reading other people, because you're so good at, at understanding the dynamics of really any social situation, probably better than any other sign there is. Sure, Sagittarius understands, but they also are, I don't, I was going to say they bloviate and I can say that as a Sagittarius. I am a Sagittarius. Okay. But what I can, what I can say about that energy is sure. Does a Sagittarius understand social situations and pick up on social things? Maybe a little keener than some of the other signs. Um, and they more or less can play it cool like you Libra, but there's usually a point when a Sagittarius either gets bored because they're impatient or, you know, the wind blows and there's another subject to talk about. Um, what I'm saying is I think that you are the sign that probably is able to suppress your true nature more than, probably more than any other sign in a public facing way, at least. There are signs that deny, you know, who, who, many things about themselves. But I think in terms of you, Libra, can't make this up. <laughs> justice. <laughs> you have the justice card coming out. Wow. I told you that I'm tuned into you, Libra. I don't, I, there's, there's some psychic Libras out there. Justice, karma, consequence, accountability, law, truth, honesty, integrity, cause and effect. If I'm just reading this top line here, hanged woman, hanged man, unicorn zebra with a symbol in between each one of their eyes. And then you've got the justice card, which is your card showing up in your reading. It's like your or justice card rather. Um, it's like your you're in a state where you're like accepting that you are a little bit psychic, that there's a subconscious in you that's trying to talk and guide you a little bit more. And it might be spirit guides, it might be just that inner voice. I don't know. I think that there's some divine guidance here because of, because of these two cards. There's definitely some divine guidance here in terms of perhaps tuning up your receptor in some way. Now the question to me is, are you, are you in a state of receiving the feminine, right? Are you in a state where you are receptive to get those messages? And I think you're sort of weighing it. I think that you're, I think that you with your thinking mind and your ego are kind of going, I, this is weird. I I normally am flowing with with whatever it is that I need to be in whatever sort of situation because I can be whatever anybody or anything needs me to be in that situation. I'll serve the situation. You are a dreamy sign, Libra, and I think that there's a dreaminess that you're it's almost like you're denying it in some way. Can I get some clarifying cards here on the um, the justice? Because to me, this looks like a very practical girl. She's like, you know, there's a cat there. She's a cat lady. Hey, <laughs> I'm a cat lady. Um, any good witches? She's holding a sword, which to me certainly represents Libran energy um, in terms of, you know, the air, air sign right there. And she's holding the justice, the scales of justice. She's sort of weighing whether or not like, and she's pointing the sword rather at the, at the unicorn and the zebra. 
it's almost like she's looking at that going like, do I believe in this or not? Do I believe in magic and divine guidance or not? Do I believe in the tarot offering me archetypes and stories that can help improve my life in some way, shape, or form, even if it's just to improve my, my thinking about something? King of Wands. There's a creativity that you know is innate to you that you've been denying. You've been hanging back on it and you're, you're in denial, I think, that in times like these, like a new moon in Cancer, you get extra psychic during these times. You get to a point where it kind of freaks you out. <laughs> So you deny it and, um, you know, you go back to whatever job you're doing or family thing you're doing. I think it makes you incredibly uncomfortable because there's always this gnawing thing in the back of your head that's like, be practical, be practical. Like, this makes no sense. This is, you know, you have to be practical about this. You have to think about it. How do I make it make sense in my mind? And sometimes something doesn't make sense in your head. It makes sense in your soul and it makes sense in your heart and you have a pull towards something that you cannot understand. You don't know why you're pulled to it, but you also don't, you know, you, you're, you don't know what the soul is trying to communicate to you in this time, the soul, the inner child, the shadow, the seed, the seed. seed was planted and you freaked out a little. So now you've been in sort of this kind of freeze state where you're going, well, okay. It's like when you're a little kid and you find out that Santa Claus doesn't exist or the Easter bunny or whatever. Sorry to burst your bubble. Uh, <laughs> I just imagined a young child watching this and Again, sorry if that's if that just happened, but um, <laughs> it's like it's making you question your entire belief system, everything that you've ever really believed in, whatever this is. Okay, so you, as a kid, you go, if Santa Claus doesn't exist, then the Easter Bunny doesn't exist, then then the Tooth Fairy doesn't exist. All these things it's like now you're like well if I'm I'm this empathic introverted highly feeling empathetic individual if that's me and I'm and there's nothing wrong with being highly sensitive I'm highly sensitive there's gonna be certain things that are, that are gonna be harder for you Sublimation. Sublimation. This is such beautiful energy. You're sort of fighting. You're fighting that magical feeling. You're fighting the fact that you there there is a, a bigger universe out there than we can even imagine. And there are many, many, many ways of communicating. And sometimes it's not just two people or two things talking or barking at each other or meowing at each other. Sometimes it's not that. Could be, of course. Watch out for your signs, people from, from the universe. But you get downloads. You, the, some call it downloads, some call it, I don't know, light codes, I've heard it called, you know, uh, I don't know, I don't know what you believe in or, or, or if you have a belief system in that sense, you know, if you're open to other ways of communication. And that can include just knowing something, not knowing why you know it, but just knowing something, having it drop in. 
having it just sort of pop into your brain. Sublimation. Elevation, rinsing, flight. Sublimatio. <sighs> they are passionate about this as well. Sublimatio is the great alchemical operation of air. Libra. Showing up. It occurs when there is enough heat to change a solid substance into a gas, causing it to rise up, up, and away. Therefore, when sublimation is present, there is an aspect of celebrated elevation, of ascending above and gaining a greater perspective. Birds in flight, mountain peaks, ladders, and balloons are all sublimatio images. As with all the operations, sublimatio has a shadow potential. Through ascension, there is a risk of separating from others, of sensing oneself higher or above. The risk is particularly great in spiritual traditions that offer a linear model of achievement. The divine alchemist rises humbly and supports the upliftment of others, always in touch with the cycle of humanity. Service is the natural balancing agent for sublimatio. It may be the next rung on your ladder. Go deeper. Watch the final scene of the red balloon by Albert Lamoris to ponder the magic of air travel. Disassociation is an example of sublimatio and shadow. When this card appears, reconnect with that feeling with the feelings you'd rather avoid. Be with them rather than rising above them. Help hike a mountain or gaze out on an airplane window. Notice sublimatio occurring within you. You may feel wonder, awe, or a shift in perspective with this energy to write or draw. Okay, so I couldn't have tied that in better myself uh, with where we started this reading. I don't know why, but you're hanging back. And I think that while you're hanging back in this energy of sort of deciding whether or not you want to step into your goddess era, or god era, goddess, you're like, am I going to do it? Yeah, I don't know. What are you so afraid of this time? Let your subconscious talk to you. Paint a picture. See what comes out. What does it want to say to you? Thank you so much for all of your likes, shares, and subscribes, Libra. I cannot thank you enough for all of the feedback that you have given me. Continue. I love it. I hope that you enjoyed this reading. Um, and I will see you on the next, on the next video. I can't, I can't tell you how much I love your support on here so much, Libra. We're connected. Thank you.